Hello and welcome back to the Tim Bush channel and today I'm joining the jet set. I've got this absolutely wonderful Audi 205T. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go around the car and see some of the key features. The Audi 200 made its debut at the 1979 Frankfurt Motor Show with fuel-injected five-cylinder engines in either naturally aspirated or, like our one here, turbocharged form. This is the flagship model, the 5T, and boasts a 2.1-litre turbo engine with about 175 brake horsepower. Now, back in 1981, when this car was new, that was a lot of horsepower. I'm pretty quick at this time. The car was refurbished by Audi in Poland and has undergone a full overhaul including an engine rebuild with lots of the parts replaced. Let's have a look at this absolutely beautiful engine. So there we have the Audi 2.1 5 cylinder engine, turbocharged, absolutely brilliant and it's got 175 horsepower as we said earlier on. Uh, Audi tend to push their engines a bit further forward in the engine bay and offset the radiator for more balance. At the time, Audi's most powerful engine, this particular engine was also used in the first rally car for Audi. Okay, let's start the engine and listen to the Piperworks exhaust. It's time now for the Tim Bush Channel interview, and the proud owner of this car is Chris. Lovely to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you, Tim. What an absolutely phenomenal car. I mean, Thank it's absolutely much. immaculate. So perhaps you could tell our viewers how you acquired the car. Yeah, there was just from a friend. Um, I got it. It came all the way from Poland, actually. Um, yeah, I just he was a bit of a collector, and I just wanted to purchase one of his cars. So I uh, twisted his arm, um, and he he drove it all the way from Poland for me. So wow. yeah. It's, uh, it's a great car, you know, with fantastic history, so uh, just have to acquire it. And some, uh, a little bit of uh, a nugget of information you gave me uh, earlier on in, in the day was that uh, the car featured in the film E.T. So this was Elliot Mum, Elliot's mum's car. No, it's not this exact yeah, car, yeah, but they, the same model, wasn't it? They used, they used this, this particular model for marketing in the film. So, yeah, it, was a, it wasn't called a 200 in the film. It was a 5000S, um, but basically shared the same engine and everything with it. So there's a few little key touches in the car, a few little Easter eggs for people to see, like the speaking spell. And, um, yeah, I've got a magazine in there as well from the film, so with a tape, because obviously tapes were <laughs> out back then, but oh, yeah. yeah. Back in the day, back in the yeah, day, yeah. but uh, also the colour is a bit a bit rare with this, isn't it? It's quite a rare colour. Yeah, color. yeah, it's called Helios Blue. Um, I could say it was um, used across the whole VAG range, um, Audi, Porsche, everyone used Helios Blue on their special models. So they only use metallic colours on on um, the 200. So obviously the old the 100, which is the same shape, used pastel colours. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a quite a rare colour. Now earlier on, I started the engines. Have a listen, listen to that lovely exhaust you've had. But perhaps we could go for a spin or something. We could be able to do. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, brilliant! Listen, lovely to meet you. Thanks. Thanks for your time today. Stop. So we're now in the car with uh, with Chris in his pride and joy. And what are the lights and that lovely burble again? It absolutely sounds gorgeous, that doesn't it? That, uh, yeah, that yeah, engine. It takes over lovely. Yeah, it's got a lovely sound to it. And I really enjoyed the, uh, the airlift suspension system you got. That's, yeah. uh, that's <laughs> yeah. a bit special, isn't it? Yeah. yeah people are surprised because it still drives quite like a factory car, you know? Yeah. People are scared of air riding a little bit, but technology's moved on quite well. It's nice having a fresh suspension on an old car. So the car's also got cruise control on it, Chris. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's old old technology, so to be fair, I don't think I'd trust sticking it on. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't usual in its day, that type of cruise control. No, no, it's quite a quite a, a rare thing, you know. It's, back in the day, you, you know, you didn't even get a rev counter. <laughs> um, obviously, this has got them all, rev counter, boost gauge. It's got electric windows all around. It's more of a an executive cruiser. I would say more of, a, more of an executive bruiser with that massive engine you got in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 175 horsepower in this day, that was a lot of horsepower back in the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it done 60 in about seven seconds. It was obviously quite quick, to be fair. 
Even the V8s in the time weren't pushing as much as that. Some of them V8s in the 80s weren't pushing. No, no. Like Rover's V8, I think, was also a car which was up against this, you know, power-wise. And obviously this is, obviously it's a 2.1 five-cylinder, rather than obviously a lot of people either use a four-cylinder. There's a V6, 86 or a V8. Okay, Chris, we've got, a bit, we've got a bit of straight road now, so I just want to put your foot down. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that sounds amazing. That is a quick car, isn't it? <laughs> it goes really goes really well, to be fair. Brilliant! The front reminds me of um, the DeLorean, funny enough. Yeah, a lot of people say that, to be honest it's with you. It's got that look to it, hasn't it? Yeah, I used that, to be funny. I think it's just because it's square, you know? And obviously, they have them square headlights. Uh, kid, the kids always see the, the rear window louver, which, you know, it kind of looks like, I don't know, a DeLorean, because it's got a louver at the back. Um, well, yeah, that, the, the louver, people always ask me what the louver's for, you know, but they were, um, but back in the 80s, the glass wasn't UV protected, so they used to put louvers on the back to stop them from bleaching the seats. Ah, right. This car's far too good for ET, you know. <laughs> I just love the sound of that, uh, the turbo whistle. Yeah, Ooh, it's so, uh, uh, that's sexy, that. Yeah, mate, that it's, a, it's a, a, a noise that you can't really replicate, you know. No. So it's a case of hold on to your lock nuts, Chris. We're going to get our foot down again, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're going to oh, show them what it can do. This handles well, mate. Oh, here we go. Okay, folks, I'm now behind the wheel. Chris has entrusted me with his absolute beautiful car. I'm just going to take it for a quick spin and see what it's like so I can feel that lovely uh, five-cylinder turbocharged engine. So off we go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Smooth as silk, mate. This. Smooth as silk. <laughs> feels a bit odd driving on this side of the road. I know, it feels honest. odd sitting here, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I love the air. Uh, I love the drive. It's super smooth. I mean, we think about back in the day. I mean, this is an old car. It's back to the 80s, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, it's... Uh, and it drives really... Uh, it's, quite, it's frisky, I would say. A bit yeah, frisky, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's on, it's, a lot of the old cars, you know, you jump in them now, but compared to the modern cars, the, you can really feel they're old, you know, but this still has a quite a nice feel to it. You feel everything through the steering as well, yeah? Yeah. Which, again, which we did, you don't get with the modern cars. No, no. I mean, this is, this is still power steering, you know, obviously, you forget these things, like they were still new out back then. Oh, I love that sound of that turbo, Chris. <laughs> it's that's brilliant. It's very isn't it? addictive, isn't it? With yeah. the right foot. Yeah. Won a few show awards with the Yeah, I took it to the uh, Tatton Park and won a concourse shot, uh, trophy. So I can see why, proud, mate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can see why, because every part of this car is meticulously looked after by yourself. Yeah, you yeah. The paint where it's just so clean. That engine bay is outrageously clean. Yeah, I mean, spent a lot of time. Yeah, like... you, can, you can tell you've spent a lot of time doing yeah. it. And the interior, I mean, the car's got 100,000 miles on it, but the interior looks like it just come out of the love and show them. Yeah, yeah, that, with you. I think the, uh, the materials they used to use were pretty uh, good quality back then, you know. You can eat your dinner off that, Yeah, it? yeah. Well, folks, I can honestly say it was an absolutely phenomenal drive. Lovely, smooth as silk, as we said. That turbo sound is absolutely great, Chris, and the car is absolutely immaculate. Brilliant! <laughs> so, there we have it, the amazing Audi 205T, a rare beast indeed, and what a privilege to drive the car today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments. If you like the video, don't forget to check out my other videos on the classic Land Rover and that Morgan race car. Brilliant! You have been watching the Tim Bush channel. It's the future!